this career which i'm really familiar with because my brother and i think his wife even do the same thing and they're actually succeeding in life <laughs> On this video, I'll be discussing different boss generating certifications that could help you after your university degree to probably replace your master's. Even if you're already currently in a certain field, these certifications could help you upskill so you become more relevant in 2020. <laughs> guys welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and i'm a london based content creator if this is not your first time here meaning you are family thank you so much for coming back to my channel if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button and the bell right beside it if this is your first time welcome so as i said in the introduction of this video i'm going to be talking about some certifications i think you should consider in this age and time the educational progression of a typical nigerian like myself is nursery school primary school secondary school or high school university and then marriage or masters usually some people still go do get married and then do their masters but masters is usually the typical thing we tend to do after university i've come to find out that yes even if the masters help people like me come to live in a different country obviously they need, i needed to have some form of education to prove i could speak english in my case the masters was what helped me get my foot into the uk and obviously i've progressed in my career and everything but i know masters is not the only way to actually progress yourself and become relevant especially now but i would like to share with you following my research some amazing certifications in the industry of it information technology business finance and then medicine with most master's degrees to be honest like you don't really really specialize in an industry you want to go in that might be because some of us don't even know what we actually want out of life at that time we're doing masters we just want to do masters just so we improve our cv if you're still in the stage of considering okay what kind of masters do i do or what kind of certification do i do i'd like you to take this video very seriously industry wise i'll start with information technology so grab a paper and pen and take down this certification just so that you can do your further research on them so the first one i'm going to talk about is data science data science has taken the world by storm and is one of the most in-demand career choices today opportunities in the field are endless and the job roles in data science promise high paying salary specifications that can help you move into data science domain include business analytics experts Data science certification with our programming and you can also consider some master's program data sciences master's program and the data analytics master's program so just put that down if you're considering data science as a course or as a field you want to enter it is very relevant for 2020 and beyond next i'll say big data big data is not a technology but a practice that helps in analyzing massive amounts of data to gain insights and improve decision making so guys data is such a big thing right now so you should consider careers in that or certifications is something you think would interest you as the sheer volume of data increases on a day-to-day -day basis professionals skilled in big data are highly in demand the following certifications can help you land a good job in the thriving field of big data big data hard job administrator big data hard job and spark and there's a master's program in this as well big data engineer my next field which i think is really really important is artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning so artificial intelligence slash machine learning ai and machine learning are the hottest buzzwords of tech today and all major enterprises are using it to improve their businesses from voice assistants to drones ai and machine learning are increasingly finding applications in our day-to-day -day lives and are creating jobs across sectors and giving the rise to new career paths hello alexa the certifications that can help you kickstart this career or move up in your ai and machine learning careers are a postgraduate program in data science that could really help machine learning certification course and then there's a the master's also you could consider the artificial intelligence engineers master's program so AI guys <laughs> I shouldn't even be telling you already know how artificial intelligence is so the thing now you could be having a chat on whatsapp you could even be thinking about something and next thing you're seeing an ad on your Instagram of that product or of that service it's crazy so this is a field which is very very untapped and then it would need so many so many people in the future so yeah consider that next i'll say cloud computing simply put cloud computing is computing based on internet previously companies had to use software downloaded into a physical computer or server cloud computing allows people to work in the same application through the internet from different systems this has been widely adopted and is now used by major organizations worldwide following certifications can help you launch or advance your career in cloud computing aws certified solution architect 
AWS Developer Association Certification, Microsoft Azure Certification, and Blockchain Developer. Number five on my IT list is networking. Every company needs an efficient and well-maintained computer network, even in the age of cloud computing. Certifications that can help you move ahead as a hardware or network professional include CCNA routing and switching certification training, the CCNP routing and switching certification training. So both of them are really, really good in the networking field. My sixth suggestion for IT is software development. Changes happen in lightning speed in the world today and software have to keep up driving demand for software developers who can build the new apps as needed. Many certifications can actually help you transform it or move into the software developing field, but the few ones I would name are Full Stack Web Developer, Automation Testing, Java Certification, C Programming, SQL Database Training. So true story, I had done this SQL training during my break between uni and my master's. And guys, studying for this exam was the hardest thing i had ever done like all my four years in uni did not equate to the amount of studying i had to do to pass this ms sql thing my seventh it suggestion is devops devops is a practice that helps speed up software development by bringing development and operations together hence the name devops these skills are a necessity for any business that wants to get and stay competitive in the fast moving marketplace so certifications that can help you launch your career in DevOps are DevOps Certification Training, Puppet, Drucker, DevOps Architect. Last but not the least on my IT list is this career which I'm really familiar with because my brother and I think his wife even do the same thing and they're actually succeeding in life. <laughs> So this is cyber security. With the ever increasing number of cyber attacks, cyber security is needed for every organization because every company has information that shouldn't be compromised. We currently have a shortage of cyber security professionals, making this a wise career option for those interested. College certifications can um, actually help you get into the field of the cyber security expert certification program, certified ethical hacker training, certified information system auditor. I mentioned my brother at the beginning of this um, particular segment of IT, cyber security. He actually did a master's and then he's got some experience to follow. So obviously he'll have to take some extra um, courses if he wants to progress and upskill himself in this particular field. So that's it for IT guys. Next we'll go to finance. That's what I will say close to my heart because my best friend is currently doing this program and I'm really nudging her because she's about to take her exams. So this is a shout out to her, my sister and friend on um, project management. Project management is critical because it ensures that the right kind of projects are taken up and they are delivered on time and on a set budget. A project manager should be able to negotiate reasonable, de reasonable deadlines and milestones across teams, management and stakeholders. That sounds so, so like business analysis. The following certifications can help you move forward in project management or even enter the industry. Project management professional, certified scrum master, Prince 2 Foundation and Practitioner Certification Training. I think this is the third one she's doing. I'm not really sure, but I know she's going to go into this industry really soon. Best of luck, girl. The next in finance is ACC. Another of my sister friends is on her way to get her ACC. And I'm really making this video so that she can push herself and get the damn certificate and come and start running things here in London. <clears throat> ACC is Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. So with ACC, it's be honest, I'd rather someone does ACC. If you read accounting in school, I'd rather you do ACC than come to do any masters. And the thing is, when you read accounting of some similar course in uni, you're exempted from I think the first nine of the fourteen exams you have to take. So it's just amazing. And then once you're out, usually when you get employed by a company, they might even pay you all the fees you used to do the exam. So yeah, ACC is one very good um, thing for accountants and yeah, the financial industry. Um, the next one, <laughs> which is the Baba CFA. Shout out to my other friend Doe, who has the CFA certification and is thriving so good. The CFA means Chartered Financial Analyst. CFA program is a postgraduate professional program offered internationally by the American based CFA Institute, formerly called the Association of Investment Management and Research or AIMR, so Investment and Financial Professionals. So, yeah, CFA is the course of its own. Getting it guys, I think there are three stages in it and it's amazing like you would just be the hottest cake ever in finance Like seriously, when you look at most companies now, when there's a C or the next person is a CFO With your CFA, the opportunities are limitless Then the third one I told you guys I was going to suggest is for business So the first is business intelligence Not everyone needs to be at the level of a data scientist to help organizations put data to use 
professionals trained in business intelligence bi can play an important role in maximizing the use of data without requiring the full scope of training needed to be a data scientist and this business intelligence is looking like something i should consider so the following certificates can help you become a bi business analytics we excel is excel your best friend like what's your level of excel i'm just asking you can drop in the comment section if you want to answer what's your level of excel personally i think i'll still see i'm just getting close to the medium i'm still having no part to be honest but i can still do a lot of things with excel but i know how broad and crazy excel is so yeah let's just see just before intermediates <laughs> olic view developer training that's another one you can do to become a bi informatica training you can do that to become a bi next for business is digital marketing i know a lot of people on in marketing social media marketing they call themselves digital marketers so that should be something that is very conversant to a lot of people watching this video so let's just explain it a bit more for you. Businesses only succeed when they have customers who are buying, which makes digital marketing a key part of any business's operations. The field of marketing has changed in the digital age. The need for professional training new skills has grown dramatically. The following are courses you can do to become a digital marketer. Digital marketing specialist, digital marketing associates, advanced web analytics, the last but not the least one is medical and then for medical i actually just have one suggestion which is nursing it's very popular amongst people so nursing is an amazing um, field to go into just go straight into the nursing instead of doing a master just go straight into the nursing you can also specialize by being a mental health nurse i was speaking with my friend the other day she said that was what she was thinking about and then i now spoke with another friend who is actually in the medical field and he was like that's what he actually does and the pay is really good it's just obviously it's mental health and stuff but it's quite interesting if that's something you're interested in so i hope with these few suggestions of mine i've been able to tweak your brain to it consider different kinds of other options of your field it's very understandable if you don't know what you want at the time doing an mba is an amazing thing when you have some experience you know already in that's i should have mentioned your business one, but yeah i'm mentioning it now doing an mba is actually an amazing thing when you've got experience in whatever it is you're doing business wise aside from that please just make sure you give a lot of thinking to your postgraduate degrees to the industry you think you can thrive in bearing in mind our current situation in the world right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do click the bell as well. Click the thumb up button if you don't have energy to subscribe or to comment. See you on my next episode. Bye-bye.